John chapter 10, verses 1 to 7. Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs by in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. I spent some of my teenage years living on a farm out near Yeovil in the Central West. I went to a regional school and made friends with farming families. I had one friend in particular, Brad. Brad, to me, was the coolest guy ever. I mean, I moved to the country from Lura, so moving to a farm in the country was a very different sphere and, and situation. I didn't even know how to light a fire in a fireplace. One day, my friend Brad came over to my place, spent the afternoon. He saw how I had no idea how to light a fire, and without any judgment, took over and taught me how to do it. It was roaring in no time. That's how amazing a guy Brad was to me. Another time there was a party and sleepover at Brad's place. It was just our class, it was probably eight teenagers. The first thing I noticed that was strange about Brad's bedroom was his walls. Most teenagers would have pictures of cars or maybe girls, but not Brad. Brad's bedroom was lined with thousands of banners and ribbons for cattle raising from competitions across the state, including first place Royal Easter Show. I had no idea. Things got even stranger when I woke up the next day. I walked into the kitchen and there was a cow. There was a cow in the kitchen. Now you'd think the strangest thing about this whole situation was a cow in the kitchen. Shocked, I think I must have said shoo or something but was ignored. I was the stranger. When Brad got up, there was no shock or embarrassment about a cow just wandering the house and being in the kitchen. This was perfectly normal. Out you go, girl, was all he had to say, and the beast slowly made its way out the back door so we could have breakfast. Who are you to Jesus? You are everything to Jesus. His delight in you has no equal. If Jesus were the son of a cattle breeder, your achievements would line his walls and you would have no idea of them. All you would know is being welcome in his presence, even his kitchen, as his words gently lead you through doors. In the same way, the good shepherd knows his sheep, and his sheep know his voice.